Welcome to the Dice Tower, a series of video reviews about board and card games. Here are your hosts. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Camilla Cleghorn. I'm Chris Yee. Today we're taking a look at a game that I didn't know a whole lot about when it showed up. I guess you guys knew more about it. I had seen brief Don't parts of it. Don't include me in on that, you. This was my one of my top anticipated of the year. Mm-hmm. And true. I did remember that. Uh-huh. Um, and that's Transmissions, <laughs> which is about robots. And there's a lot of games about this robots. This is where the art came before the game, right? Yes. Yeah, Matt Dixon is the artist, funny. and the designer saw the art, art and was like, I want to make a board game based on this. And he's like, okay, and they did. So this is basically Scythe, is what I'm hearing. I was just saying, I, I think it's a bad idea, but yeah, Scythe and... It okay, depends yeah. on who's making the game for your art. That's yeah, that really, really what matters. Is, yeah. But he just like really loved the world and wanted to make a board game in it. They're very cute. All right, pretty simple game. You're moving four robots around the board. I'll let you uh, watch how to play, but also we played it live, too, so you can see that, too. But... Mm -hmm. Here's how to play it. Transmissions is a competitive robot theme game where you're all moving around all the robots by playing cards. You're collecting cute little items. You're building up your robot's individual powers and you're building pipelines. You're doing all of this to gain points and eventually win the game. On your turn, you'll draw a hand of three cards and you'll choose to play one. Depending on which card you play determines where and what location you're going to play from or which robot you're going to use. So for example, I can move a robot that is in the forest or move a robot that is on these little panels here, or I can just choose a robot to then move. So let's say I play the green robot. I can then move him up to his amount. This is the green robot can move three spaces. So I'm gonna move him one, two, three spaces, and then I perform an action in that area where he lands. So we have items, we have power-ups, and we have pipes that you can purchase throughout the game. And you do that in each one of these sections if the robot that you've chosen to move lands in that area. So to purchase over here, you're going to pay the price at the bottom of the item and you're going to spend a power. You then get to place this on your board. This is gonna be worth points depending on how many of those you have on your board. If you can get all three of them, you can get seven points per toaster, which can be very powerful and very cool. Over here, you're going to spend um, any resources that are at the top. There's not any over here but you're also gonna be spending higher amounts of powers. These give you special upgrades. For example, this lets you move whatever robot you assign it to, two extra spaces. This lets you get a white cube every time you pick up another cube. Pretty awesome and powerful. Now, the pipes over here, you're going to pay the same thing at the bottom. They're worth points, and also there's bonuses if you can get more pipes all in a row, and I'll show you how those work in a minute. The other action spaces are the water, the flower fields, and the forest. Um, and the, I guess it's rocks or a power plant over here. So these three middle ones give you basic resources. You get cubes, white cubes, blue cubes, green cubes, yellow cubes, or you can get four power at a single time. And these are what the power look like. You're gonna collect those because you need those to purchase the items that we talked about before. Now, if you go to the forest, you get to draw some cards and then you get to choose to play one and they just give you some sort of special ability or power. That's a one-time use thing. The player board is the engine building part of the game. As you can see here, I have some robots that are already starting to gain some items and that are building up some player powers or robot powers, I guess. And so what you can do is you can put your items anywhere on the board that you want. It doesn't matter which robot purchased it. I mean, it doesn't matter where or who holds it at the end of the game. It just is worth points depending on how many of those that you have. Um, however, the abilities are robot specific. As you can see, my yellow robot cannot move very far, but he can hold a lot. And currently I have him upgraded so that he can gain an extra yellow cube anytime he goes anywhere else. When you purchase a pipe tile, you're gonna go ahead and place it on your pipes, depending on how they fit. All the connections matter and the sizes do matter as you're placing them. The end game points are pretty simple. You just count up what you have and everything takes place on these boards here. So for example, I've completed this whole column. I will get eight points for that, as well as seven points for each one of these toasters because I have three. I also gain points for each one of the pipes that I've placed on my board. And there's additional points for any continuous line that starts out from the center. So I would count these three towards that set collection, but not this one over here. Once everything's scored up, you see who wins. And that's how you play. All right. Fantastic components. I don't think anyone, anyone who argues that is objectively wrong. Right. They're terrible. Yes. No, they're not. 
Yeah, no. All right, they're super cute. Room. I like the miniatures. They're they're fun and cutesy. And if you don't have the miniatures, the standees are great. The standees as well, yeah. And the standees will more easily match the art on the cards. So if you are True. when you're selecting which one to do, um, and they have colored the, bases, which I that's like. That's what I was gonna say. But Tom, you yes. talked about how you don't look at the art on the card. You look at the 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 color in the corner, and, and that matches the base. And, or the, the, and the I look base. at the art, so and I was a little confused. When I'm pretty sure nice. Wendy will be the only person confused right, by that. I, I, I feel I like that's true. It, I, when I say a little confused, I mean like I had to take a double take kind of thing. And she made that's, a big deal out of it for ten minutes. Yes. <laughs> Oddly enough, though, I found that several people were confused by the cars with terrain on them, as in that's the terrain you're going to, as a terrain you're going from. I had to explain that twice in it, different spots to different people. It messed with my brain a little bit. I was like, no, I want to go to flowers, but I have flowers, and everybody's in flowers. I think... It just wow, took a second. That's, oh. I don't... I don't see how that would be confusing, though, because you... I'm, I'm with you, but I'm just saying it happened. <laughs> I I mean, I had that thought, like, okay, which one is it? Let me clarify. But it's, it's better the way that it is. It's better, hey, I'm playing this card... That shows flowers. Anybody, I'm moving yeah. something from flowers. Oh, it's too hard. You have to count backwards then. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's. I think it's huh. good. I like this. I like the little seven card action system. Yeah. It's very simple. I like that any of the you can move any of the robots on your turn. It's not like you're a specific color mm -hmm. thing. It's very light, though. I noticed. Very very mm -hmm. simple. I did expect a little bit more from it. Just looking at it, like I thought, oh, that's going to be cute, but it's going to have uh, more depth. And not that it's like super light, but it, but it's relatively light. I, yeah. I I agree. We were talking. We have a library shelf called Shelf Ten, which we put all the introductory welcoming games on. Mm -hmm. I might put this on that shelf at some point. Sure. It's that easy to play. Yeah. I would yeah. I would put it as like a heavy welcoming is where I would put it. Sure. You I know? don't know that if this was sold at Target, I think some people would be thrown by parts yes, of it. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. But once to man teaching this is nothing. It's really easy. Well, right. and, and what I like about it to to the point of teaching, it's really easy. Because there really isn't a bad option on your turn. There's always something you can do, and you're always going to get something out of that action. You know, and so teaching it, I think that helps teach it really well because it's not like, oh, you can't do that because of this, or oh, that's not a bad move, or oh, you're really hurting yourself here. Like, you're going to be able to do something, and it's going to be beneficial. You know, yes, you can min max it and that kind of stuff, but for new uh, gamers or new people getting in and learning this game, the learning curve is very small on it because. You're always progressing. You're always move around, get stuff, or spend stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 And for the art, because it is this is an art first game and it's very cutesy, it's very adorable art. I think that the weight of the game is correct. Then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. And mm -hmm. that that's what I really appreciate about it. It's it's so simple, and you know it's not something where someone would look at it and say, oh, I'd like to pick it off, you know, pick it off the shelf at the store. Oh no, what have I gotten myself into? Right. There's going to be a few things. But those few things that might be holdups for a for you know for an, a first time player are also things that are really great. Right. Upgrading the robot. Whenever I move the yellow robot, I have something special and unique for me and not for anyone else. I like that in games. Yeah. I found that to be such an interesting balance of you're sharing the robots with everybody, but you're building up your own board, and so you're like, I love the yellow robot. I want him to go here so he can go here next, and then someone else moves him, and you're like, wait, wait, no, I planned it. Or vice versa, hoping they move it. I need that one to go here so then it'll reach there. Somebody yeah. please move this guy. Please move him, you know? So yeah, Thematically, that's, that. that's a little weird. Like, the yellow mm. robot gets energy when I move him. Haha, <laughs> he stopped doing that on your turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a little odd. Oh, I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, it would be, sure, I don't yeah, mind. Sure. Sure. Uh, right. So is there anything anyone didn't like about the game? Because I got a couple. Okay, let's hear well, a couple. Well, so the one thing I didn't... These are very minor. Very minor. The pipes. I think the pipes are cool. Mm. And they're like two different connections. And try to build a row of pipes. I think it's hard to not build a row of pipes. Yeah. Like, mm. I think they're like, oh, you get more points if you build a row of pipes. Just tell me I get the points. Why even put that in there, like the directions of the pipes and stuff? Because when you buy a pipe, you always buy the pipe you can afford. Right. Yeah. If there's no choice there or anything, and I feel like that, just explaining that rule, which by the way, should have been on the, on the board, how many points you get for those pipes. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I just, I would have cut that. I don't mind the points. I just felt like if you make a length of five, I was like, all right. The module that gives you the pipe shapes mm -hmm. makes it much more interesting. 
Okay. There, mm. There's cards that go in there that when you flip them and you build a certain shape, you get extra points. Oh, okay, interesting. Right. Yeah. I like that. That, that makes that more worthwhile. But without that, the pipes are just, you might as well just collect them. I will I, say, though, I messed up the scoring. I'm sorry to catch you off here. I messed up the scoring because of the pipes, because I picked up a pipe. And, and maybe it's my assumption of a rule, just from heavier games, but if you pick up a pipe, you can't put it back down because then you see what's underneath it and that'd be giving information away. So I don't know, maybe I'm... That is very... That is very a hard <laughs> line for the people who play the game with the tank. Uh, that was game. That was, that, that, that's the rule that I implemented for myself. Uh, and so, so when I took the pipe and attached it, it didn't have the right connection I needed and I, I just visualized it wrong. You know, and so then I ended up, I had five pipes down, but only a row of four. Yeah, you did. That's and true. So, yeah. so I, I will say, I think that rule... Um, um, th that combination of that rule, and again, maybe that's not even a rule in there. Maybe I made that rule up. But like, if you take the pipe and you have to keep it, but it's also the only one I could afford. I was already at that space, and so I wasn't gonna be oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, you know. Um, but I, I also, so I think what I was gonna say is that the connections bothered me a little bit because you could have a small pipe to a small pipe, and they don't fit. Because right. the way that the water's supposed to flow or whatever in the pipes. And well, the male, the female. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't understand why that was included, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like extra stuff for the purpose of having extra stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't feel... The other important. thing that bugged me a little, again, these are little things, is when you buy the upgrade or you buy the scarf or boot mm -hmm. or the whatever it is, part the other it. one goes away. I don't mind that because, mm -hmm. on, on one hand, that makes the game end. Yeah. Yeah. But... For the items, trying to collect sets of those is just such a crapshoot. You're like, I want the boot. You cannot buy both boots, and in in like, you, there's always going to be three people going before you. They can easily make those go away, so it's almost it feels very lucky. It does that look part, look I, I, whether I you'll get the it. other one or not. There's no strategy to getting that. Mm -hmm. um, but see, I think I opposite. I liked it. I liked that it kind of refreshed that market, and you had that choice to make of oh, which one? Because the other one's not going to be there. You know, it's like I want both of these. I only get one. Which one? Unless you have that one. No, I get that. But so let's say I, like I buy it. the mitten. Will I get the other mitten? I can't plan for that. I can't. I can't even guess the odds for it because the odds are so against me. Because if it, anyone else sees the mitten, they don't have to buy the mitten. They buy the thing on the other side, and it's gone. Yeah, they get the yeah, upgrade yeah. part of it. Right. Yeah, I agree. That's I get it. I, so I think my my issue is is more so the set collection part is weird. Uh, it it's fine. It's good. It's okay points, but it doesn't speak to me as exciting as like, wow, you have a really big array of pipes. That's kind of cool. You know, that's mm -hmm. uh, that's guaranteed. I think it's points. the weakest amount of points. Which one, the items? The set collections, yes. Because yes. it only is going to yeah, be a lot okay. of points if you get those set collections, and yeah. you can't guarantee that I can guarantee a pipe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Unless someone else gets there first. And the pipes or, are right. a lot of points. Right. And yeah. they're bonus you know, points. They're seven, eight, nine points plus extra, yeah, plus the, you know, 15, 20 extra that you're and getting. And building the robots is easy. You can guarantee that. The birds and the butterflies, you can buy those things and they multiply. But you have to you understand that, that multiplier. It's not just the number. I sure, but you can, yeah, if I, think, I don't yeah. get that butterfly token, I can get another one. Right. But I there did, are I two boots. That was cool. Yeah, I didn't love the the bird butterfly thing, and I don't know if it's because we played a two player game, so we didn't scroll through a lot of stuff. Mm. But like, we saw butterflies the first half, and then we saw some birds at the end, and then no one could afford them. And then the di so, I think okay. the different item groups, because you in two player games only use two of the item groups instead of three or four of them. So right. you see, you know, Maybe there's just fewer. Mm, yeah. yeah, and that's and, fair. and that's the other little gripe I have with it is setup. There is. A bit of setup, uh, especially if your box, say, is swept up uh, right after like a live play, <laughs> and you're like, organized. okay, great, I have to sort out all the X items from the B yeah. items and the the C items, and and that was a bit. As long as you can keep it organized in the box, which is always not always a guarantee with this it's type of insert. It's one of those you got to slide this stuff in. I yeah. might, I don't want to chuck this insert because I like it, but <laughs> it might be easier just to put them in bags. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't play this at a higher player count, and I'm curious, since some of you have, um, did you find it frustrating that the spaces that you wanted to go to were always full? Yeah, but then it just did something else. Because in a two-player game, you have more control, right? You can right. set up, you're like, if I clear out someone from that space, Chris can only move one dude to fill in that space, so then I can get what I want. I want to say, I didn't feel like that was a problem, because I always felt like I had enough options. I just waited. It was more like, I don't have the card to move the robot I want to right now, and person before me didn't move it either. I think that was more, more than the space being occupied. It was more okay. like the robot got moved, and so you really can't 
plan ahead until the person before you goes, you know, because it can change so much. Because um, it mean, felt so intricate strategy. Not not really that intricate, but you can get kind of in the head of the other person of like, well, he really wants to buy this. I can see he's he's working on buying this. If I always keep dudes in that spot, he can never take that action. Yeah. Like That's a, a little, little too. Thing. I don't think the people yeah, playing are going to. That, that sounds like a Wendy maneuver. Right. I, think you're, I think you're strategizing. I think you're strategizing. I, I, that didn't even, the scope of the that game, didn't even occur to me. <laughs> Goodness. It was frustrating to me. Just a little bit. Just a hair. Just a hair. But I want to be clear. I said some negatives. I love the movement system. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's. I always can move something. There's mm -hmm. things to move. And you get something where you go. Special cards are cool. Just. I felt like, well, I don't I want, I want to do that. Fine, I'll do this and take a few. When I'm complaining about getting stuff, it's <laughs> it's good choices. I like yeah. the engine building and how you have that choice of do I want to build up my little en my little guy that will complete and I'll get endpoints, or do I want to build up that engine on the guy that's going to take forever, but he can have a lot of abilities, right. or do I want to spread it across? I enjoy those decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Chris, what do you think? Uh, coming down on, on final score and everything, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 because I'm really charmed by it. It's very fun. Uh, I don't know if I'll play it. It's not one that I'm like chomping at the bits to keep playing because it's very light and approachable, uh, and and we have those quibbles with it. I think there are other games that are this clean that I have less uh, little nitpicks on, but I think it's really charming. I think that if if you want something that has this great presentation factor for it, this one's not going to disappoint. So I think 7.5 means for me for this light of a game. Yeah, I, I do recommend it for sure. Um, I'm actually going to come in really high on this one. I, this is one that I had a lot. I did follow the Kickstarter. I backed the Kickstarter. It was on my top anticipated games. Uh, but so it's there's also, other reasons. But it, no, but it's also, but that, that actually is a negative because I feel like I got so excited about it and I'm like, oh, it's going to disappoint, right? You know, and so it's like I was very hesitant going into this. Like, oh, is it going to live up to those expectations? And I say, knowing those things, knowing how light it was going into it because I did follow the Kickstarter, loving the art and really being into the theme. I'm going to come in at a nine for this. I think Whoa! I wow. really, okay. really like this for this for the weight of what it is and what it's trying to do. And that I think that you can play it very, very light. But there's enough different ways of scoring that you can gamer it, you know, and kind of min max it a little bit more if you're playing with a group like that um, without changing the rules. And I think that that is really unique within this weight to be able to play both ends of the spectrum. Um, you know, I'm a sucker for theme. It's there. Uh, it's gorgeous. And again, it's just very smooth, easy, approachable. And I think has because it ha because it has all those different ways to score and all those different things you can think about and the min max and that kind of stuff it has a lot of legs with a lot of different groups that i would play in so it is one that i would very much recommend bringing to the table and and always be excited to to bring to the table so i'm gonna come in at a nine okay well i'm gonna come in at 7.5 as for <laughs> Five fingers up on both hands. No, <laughs> um, I'm going to come at a 7.5. I think this game is, like you said, it's 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 pretty clean. There's a lot of simple going on, and so for the weight of the game that it is, it's something I I would recommend and I would enjoy playing again. I don't see myself wanting to play this more than just a few times, though, and so I, I recommend it as I think this is a game for for people that are ready for this level, and I would enjoy playing it again. Um, but I just I don't see it lasting forever, and so I, I can't give it like a nine. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to, I almost want to give it two different ratings because there's my rating and then the rating for other people. Like, we're recording this before going to a convention. I'm going to teach this a lot. Yeah, I know people yes. are going to enjoy yes. it. And I'm going to get a kick out of that. And it might be higher for them. For me, it's a seven. Which mm. apparently now is terrible. Um, <laughs> in this group, hey, no, I was, I was I was leaning between seven, I, seven and a half. But I like it. It's yeah. fun. It's light. I'll play it more. I'll enjoy it. It's a great family game. It's just for me. I, I'm cool. I'm just easy. I play it. I'm done. I'm like, yeah, that was fun. Mm. But I'm not gonna remember a whole lot more beyond that. But again, I t don't take it as a negative. I I'm putting this on the hot games table at um, Dice Diaries for a reason. I think people are going to enjoy it. Also, again, it's easy to teach and I'm tired of putting these really huge heavy games there. This will help counter that. But we need more games like this. Yeah, I don't want to discourage mm -hmm. that. I think there's too few of these games coming out. Yeah. Um, so, like for you, I mean, if someone asks, I might recommend this a lot more than I'll recommend some games that are eights and nines for me. Mm. I but can that's see a that. weird thing. To, I can see that. There's like different mixtures here. So, definitely check this one out. 
So that's transmissions. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Wendy Yee. I'm Camilla Cleghorn. I'm Chris Yee. Have fun moving the robots. That's terrible. Robot. Oh, that's better. Robot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ro